Remember back in 2020 when Joe Biden endorsed sex changes for kids? Well, he's back with another video, and I wanted to break it down for y'all. Play the clip. A transgender kids is a really harder day thing. What's going on in Florida is, as my mother would say, close to sinful. I mean, it's just terrible what they're doing. Stop. 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 Let's be very clear about what Joe Biden is calling sinful. The Florida Board of Health has banned sex changes for minors. Harmful permanent puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and surgeries for kids under 18 is the exact opposite of sinful. In fact, I'd say that mutilating the genitals of children isn't only sinful, it's an abomination of the worst kind. But notice that he doesn't say what they did. Banning sex changes for kids. Why is that? It's because Joe Biden and everyone else knows that almost no one supports sex changes for kids. In fact, you'd have to be the most radical LGBT advocate or someone making money off of the trans industry to support it. And Joe Biden knows that. Keep playing. It's not like, you know, a kid wakes up one morning and says, you know, I decided I want to become a man or I want to become a woman or I want to change. I mean, what, 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 what are they thinking about? here? What are we thinking about? Oh, I don't know, that kids have no clue what's best for them, that kids are changing all the time, that if a kid has confusion about their gender, maybe there's something bigger at play that needs to be addressed. I don't know. Maybe we're thinking that since kids can't consent to sex, that they shouldn't be able to consent to permanent sex changes. The way that this guy talks about banning sex changes for kids, it's as if that is what is evil, that banning this stuff and protecting kids is, is what's evil. And that giving kids sex changes is just basically common sense. This tells us everything that we need to know about this evil regime. Keep playing. They're human beings. They love, they have feelings, they have inclination. Yeah, Joe, we know. We know. We know that they're human beings. But you know what? They're more than that. They're children of God. They were born this way. Remember that line? Remember? We can't change who we have sex with. So what in the world makes you think that we can change the sex that we're born as? Keep going. They have inclinations that are, I mean, it, it just to me is, I don't know, it, it's cruel. You know what's cruel? Exploiting vulnerable kids for profits. The trans industry is already making $2 billion a year for crying out loud in just America alone off of these surgeries. But apparently that isn't enough. And the way we do it is we make sure we pass legislation like we passed on same-sex marriage. You mess with that, you're breaking the law, and you're going to be held accountable. You hear that? You mess with sex changes for kids, and you will face the full wrath of the federal government. This is not a movement of tolerance or love. This is an evil movement that is going to destroy our kids and any families that stand in the way of the trans industry's profits. But only if we let them. I'm Terry Schilling, and I'm president of American Principles Project. And if you're like me, if you're sick of Joe Biden and his woke, anti-family, anti-American, anti-child agenda, then join us today at AmericanPrinciplesProject.org.